despite the recent spate of incidents that have rocked the Singapore government, Prime Minister Lee Shin Long insisted in his National Day message on Tuesday, August 8, that his government is determined to keep its political system free of corruption and wrongdoing. PM Lee opened his message by immediately addressing the incidents, the rental of Redoubt Road, Colonial Bungalows, by two ministers, the investigation on Transport Minister S. Iswaran by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau CPIB, and the resignations of Speaker of Parliament Tan Chuan Jin and Member of Parliament MP Chen Li Hui over an affair. Such issues come up from time to time. When they do, we deal with them properly and transparently. That is what we have always done, and that is what we have done this time too, he said. In one case, allegations about preferential treatment surfaced. The two ministers concerned were thoroughly investigated and completely exonerated. In a second case, CPIB found costs to arrest and investigate a minister. It opened a formal investigation, which is still ongoing. In a third case, the Speaker of Parliament and a government MP fell short of the standards of personal conduct expected of them. They resigned. In all three cases, for the good of the country, we sought to do the right thing, protect the integrity of our system of government, and carry through everything that needed to be done. Let there be no doubt, my government is determined to keep our system free of corruption and wrongdoing. We will maintain our high standards of honesty, integrity, and propriety. Singaporeans have come to expect this of us, and so have our international partners. Delivering his message at Skyways at Dawson in Queenstown. One of the Singapore's oldest housing estates, PM Lee said that the government will ensure that public housing is accessible and affordable for Singaporeans of all income groups with fair and inclusive housing schemes. He added that the Housing Development Board HDB has been building flats in both mature estates and non-mature estates. Flats in mature estates, like Queenstown, have better amenities and locations, but are in higher demand and generally cost more. But as we continue to develop more public housing, fewer and fewer undeveloped sites are left for us to build new estates. So in time to come, more and more new HDB flats will be built in existing estates, like here in Dawson, PM Lee said. Even amidst this changing landscape, we must still ensure public housing is accessible and affordable for Singaporeans of all income groups. This is how we keep our national housing story going strong for current and future generations. We will have to adjust HDB's housing schemes to achieve these goals. We have some ideas on how to do so, which I will share at the National Day Rally. PM Lee also addressed the issue of Singapore's aging population and the government's efforts in making estates and homes more livable for seniors. He said that, currently, nearly one in five Singaporeans is a senior age 65 or older. By 2030, the ratio will be 1 in 4. The government will improve community spaces, build more active ageing centres and enhance programmes that keep seniors well and in touch with friends and neighbours in their golden years. Some older workers now in their 50s and early 60s still have not built up enough CPF savings for retirement and can do with some extra help. I will talk about this at the rally too. PM Lee said, The government, though, can only be part of the solution. Each of us also has to do our part to stay healthy and well. Better health is better wealth. So do enroll in Healthier SG. Watch our diets, stay active, and continue working as long as we can. As Singapore celebrates its 58th birthday on Wednesday, PM Lee acknowledged that households and businesses are still feeling the pinch of inflation.
He said that the government has enhanced the assurance package and other support measures to cushion the impact on Singaporeans, especially the middle and lower income households. The storm may not blow over soon, but however long it lasts, you know this government will weather it together with you, he said.